that right hook, trying the right hook, and again, the straight left hand. Introducing to you first on my right, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with white trim. He joins us from Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at a ready 146 pounds. His record stands at 32 wins, two losses, one no contest with 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight he is seeking revenge and challenging for the undisputed world title. Please welcome the two-time champion of the world, introducing Zab Super Judah. opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with silver trim, fighting out of his hometown, and the boxing rich tradition of St. Louis, Missouri. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 34 wins, two losses, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. He holds the WBC, WBA, and IBF world titles. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the undisputed welterweight champion of the world, introducing Corey, the next generation speed. Once again, a referee in charge, Armando Garcia, now to give instructions. She's second only out of the ring. We spoke in the dressing room. I'm confident that you know exactly what I expect of you. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. We agree there's no holding, so don't make me pull your, your guys apart. Is that clear? Right here, I'll accept punches. Right here, I'll accept punches. Good luck. May the best man win. Touch gloves. He says he'll start faster tonight. Be more I'm going to Spink's backyard because I am rolled it. Final seconds of the opening round. Nice. So round two. Uh, during the, uh, the first, in the first fight, in the first five rounds. And that was more. Much more. And two grass gloves being used. You know, they were on the inside there. And Sam Judah wasn't. Oh, there it goes. There's good. Judah. In position where things get to him. There's a beautiful in St. Louis. Things on the inside and nice left hand. Older <laughs> homeless thinking to do a little matchmaking. It up with a couple of jabs of his own. Mindset of both guys. <laughs> left. Got him with the right. So it just makes you miss. Let's see if it over Zap Judah and dominating victory. A light heavy. McCorney, the money punches the Nice right heavy, but Leon by two. The other half goes to score. Joe Pasquale of Mentor City, New Jersey. Now we've seen Judah with those a lot more to impress the judges, I guess. That's well, I suppose. If you're just joining us, no knockdowns. Spin, big left. But it whizzed by the ear. A left hand that. That. Uh oh, Spinx, Spinx is momentarily dazed. He did not go down, says Armando Garcia as the bell sounds, but did a club hit the canvas? We go back and look at it at the end of the round. A tremendous left hand lands. Now, the question is was he pushed down? It wasn't from a punch exactly, but clearly the punch before that probably led to him going down. So maybe the appropriate call by Garcia, but it could have gone the other way, too. Corey Spinks clearly hurt here. There's no question about that. And obviously he did go down, but Armando Garcia is ruling that he...
he went down. They're very low and no jabs from Spinks. That's what to begin with. Left hand by Judah. Let's miss. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Spinks oh, just yeah. stuck in a way. Coming back with a counter punch. Watch, watch, watch. Stop punching, stop punching. It's all Zach Judah head. now, the pressure. Let me see. Ready to go. Let's go. And now Spinks takes his watch mouthpiece your head. up. Watch your head. Claiming that he was headbutted. The crowd urging Spinks on. Judah looking to corner Corey Spinks. Zab Judah told us all week, he told everybody, I can trade with this guy. He is not a knockout artist. I don't care if he's the bigger welterweight or was. I can trade with him. He's proving it, but there's some nice shots by Corey Spinks. Spinks showing some signs now. But Judah doing most of the stalking. Under a minute left in the eighth. Oh. Spinks with a, with a right. Spinks just grabs regular speed. Time. Now you heard the bell. It came just before he hit the canvas. So Armando Garcia probably correct. And here in the last round, again, Corey Spinks would get hurt as Judah pushed him back with that straight left hand. And that's where the head went into the mouth, and then Judah keeps punching. But yes, it was a, a clash of heads, or uh, certainly from the standpoint of Spinks, he would say a head. Big left hand. Well, not super busy. Well, it has Judah up by two. And I have a dead even at 76. Uh, maybe a head as some of the press row people said. Uh, showed us on there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Judah with the big left hand. Now jumping all over Spinks. For Corey Spinks, just a terrible moment in front of this giant crowd. Look of disappointment and astonishment at the same time on the face of Corey Spinks. And Zab Judah, the man from Brooklyn, has come to St. Louis. And he did what he said he would do. He would take the titles away from Corey Spinks. And now hoist it to the shoulders. He will exult and celebrate. And it will not be appreciated by the fans here in St. Louis. What drama. And Spink still looks like he's in shock. Did somebody say trilogy? Well, you could make the case for one, but certainly this was a more dramatic victory for this man. Zab Judah, the slight underdog, comes into the hometown of Corey Spinks. Yeah, he's got one of those three belts there. Takes away the undisputed welterweight championship of the world here in St. Louis. Able to avenge his loss to Spinks in the first fight as he brings the belts home to Brooklyn. Corey Spinks is still dismayed and shocked. A show of sportsmanship here as Judah and Spinks come together and embrace. No showboating, no shenanigans, all business by Zab Judah. And he 
got the job done. And he's back on top. Zab Judah. And he took it for 12 times less the money as Corey Spinks. Well, Zab Judah didn't get the gloves he wanted, the Reyes gloves, but it didn't matter, did it? He did plenty of power punching with the Grants. That's the left hand that put Corey Spinks in big trouble. Judah thinking perhaps there should have been a knockdown or even a stoppage shortly after this and look for the referee to stop it. There, of course, was the first knockdown. Um, and just a barrage of punches. And you know, when Zab Judah has someone hurt, he has such quick hands and he's such an accurate puncher that he's going to get them down. He did get Corey Spinks down. There was about 40 seconds left in this round, as you pointed out. So there was enough time for him to get the job done. But we look at that knockdown again. It was the straight left hand, which has been the bugaboo for Spinks when he fights Judah. And yet another one that sends him reeling backwards. He may have come up from the junior welterweight ranks, but Judah brought some power with him. Too much power for Corey Spinks in this fight. Spinks would go down. He would get up, of course, beat the count. But with 40 seconds left in this round, he would not be able to sustain. And we see the end of the fight here. There's that right hook, trying the right hook. And again, the straight left hand by Judah. And he had been nailing Spinks with these punches. No complaints from the corner of Corey Spinks. And for Zab Judah, this may not be the location where he wanted to celebrate, but you know what? Internally, he's happy whatever these fans are thinking, and he celebrates. Zab Judah evens the score. Daddy, daddy Judah surrounded by family and friends. And what a remarkable comeback for Judah, who only a year or so ago really was maybe by some considered lost in the sport of boxing. All right, now let's get the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Leonard Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 49 seconds in round number 9. Our referee in charge, Armando Garcia, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, he is the new undisputed welterweight champion.